With Bobby Sands now on the 65th day of his hunger strike, his death seems increasingly imminent. He hasn't regained consciousness since slipping into a coma yesterday morning. And as the final hours drag on, her room has been made available inside the prison hospital for his family to be with him until the end. And they've been keeping a permanent vigil at his bedside. Last night, his father and brother-in-law were with him. And this morning, his mother and sister Marcella, who were with him yesterday afternoon, returned to the Mays prison. Mrs. Rosaline Sands, who looked pale and drawn, and Marcella, were driven into the Mays complex shortly before 10 o'clock this morning. A few hours later, Bobby Sands' father and brother-in-law left. While the family's vigil continued, the world's press watched and waited outside. There are now reckoned to be more foreign journalists in the north than at any time in the past 10 years. In West Belfast, there was sporadic rioting this morning. A number of vehicles, including this lorry, were hijacked and set on fire. An RUC station was stoned and a Land Rover petrol bombed, but there was no serious damage.